So hey everybody, look, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. Let's say you want to have some really, really high quality videos here in OBS Studio, but you unfortunately don't have an NVIDIA-based graphics card to use their wonderful NVENC encoder. How can you still get really, really good high quality videos, but with using X264 encoding and OBS, and sometimes that can really bog your system down. How can you still get really good recordings but have like little to no system impact at all. This is how you do it. It's really, really cool. But keep in mind that for this method, you might wanna have a separate hard drive in your machine strictly for recordings. And well, you'll see why here in a second. All right, everybody. Now this is my secondary instance here of OBS Studio to actually show you how this works, okay? So to get the automatic secret sauce settings, it's very, very simple. You want to go down here to settings, then you want to go to output. Okay. Now this is where this tutorial really branches off into its own thing here. Okay. Because normally in these type of, Hey, how to get the best looking footage possible inside of OBS studio, they always tell you to go from output mode, simple to advanced. And then you have these different tabs here and all this really, really confusing stuff right now. Don't get me wrong. If you really like to, you know, change every little thing about your recording environment, this is what you want to use. But the way you want to do this is actually in the simple mode here. So output mode simple. Okay. Now again, this is for recording stuff. So don't worry about this streaming section up top here. For the recording quality, you want to go indistinguishable quality, large file size here. Okay. Now you can do same as stream to where it will take everything up here. You can do high quality medium file size, or you can do lossless quality, tremendously large file size. And I'm talking like one gigabyte every 30, 40 seconds. Like it, it, this requires a huge amount of hard drive space. And a matter of fact, at the data rates that this setting here actually writes to, you actually might need to write to an SSD of some kind just because of how large the uh, data rate is being recorded here, okay? So again, for this one here, you wanna go ahead and do indistinguishable quality large file size. Go ahead and leave recording format to MP4, that's just fine. And then for the encoder, this is the really important part here, okay? By default, it should be on here, uh, software x264. But no, what you wanna do is use this right here, software x264 low CPU usage preset increased file size. And what this here will do, folks, is that it will essentially record a visually lossless type of video and it uses a compression algorithm that's not as uh, intense on system resources to where to where you can record a game like apex legends full detail quality in game use this type of preset and you will have zero performance loss again in a game like apex legends and i'm using that as an example because we all know even if you're streaming the game uh, apex legends is a very difficult game to run smoothly whenever you're running it on the same system that you are either streaming or recording on okay now i'm gonna go ahead and throw in some footage here of some apex legend gameplay that i have with this preset just to show you all what it looks like and just to give you an idea here, folks, I'm gonna pull up the information here for it. And for this two minute, 15 second video, it has a total data rate of about 70 megabytes per second. And it's uh, 60 frames per second and it is 1.13 gigs. Okay, now keep in mind, the longer you record or um, just, you know, the, again, the if you even use the higher quality, the like actual lossless quality, you're gonna see that data rate and the file size go up tremendously from here. But yeah, this is what the game looks like with this little one to two click preset. It looks really, really good. Um, my overall CPU usage whenever I was running this was about 5%. Keep in mind, I do have a 5900X. Of course, it's a Ryzen 12 core 24 thread, but I also used to use this back when I had a Ryzen 2700X, which was only a, a eight core 16 thread CPU. And the, um, uh, the CPU usage inside of OBS Studio would go up to around 10 to 15% even back then and my actual gameplay was still nice and smooth not stuttery or laggy at all and as you can see here the footage speaks for itself well again this is on youtube so of course it gets compressed a little bit here but i mean it looks really really good what do y'all think 
And just like that, folks, it is that simple to get really, really high quality recordings, even if you don't have an RTX card from NVIDIA to utilize their amazing uh, NVENC encoder inside of OBS. Okay, now again, uh, the more cores you have for this, the better. But as I said a second ago, I did try this on my older Ryzen 2700X with only eight cores, 16 threads. Um, again, Apex Legends, Call of Duty no in-game performance lost my my system was running just fine flawlessly and uh i mean it just like the results in my opinion speak for itself you know again you have to remember here though folks just especially if you want to really really use that like true lossless quality that i showed you all a second ago um one minute of gameplay or recording whatever could be around seven to ten gigs of hard drive space required and the high data rate speeds that are being written to your drive actually might require you to be using a disc solely for those lossless recordings that can keep up so like a high speed ssd or a, a nvme drive of, of uh, some kind you know what i mean like a mechanical drive just would not be fast enough to actually keep up with what is being written to it at those high data rate speeds you know what i mean so Look, if you want to see more content like this on the channel, do me a huge favor, like this video, get subscribed, let me know if I'm doing a good job for y'all, and I will catch you all next time, okay? Happy gaming!